effects has to be eternal. But you know that the effects is not eternal. Oh, it's temporary. Right, okay, it's interesting. Interesting. Yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So therefore, we don't say Allah is the first cause. Because why? Because a causation does not have a life. It doesn't have ability. In fact, many atheists will come, will come and tell you the first cause is singularity. Why does it have to be God? Yeah? And singularity is, doesn't have consciousness, doesn't have ability, doesn't have life. So therefore, we believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God, has the will. He has ability. Yeah? So when Muslims are saying that Allah is the first cause, you're negating his will. You're negating his ability. You're negating his power. So this is why I reject this argument. I also reject the contingency argument. You must have heard the contingency argument as well, yeah? All of this I reject. Very simple, look. Allah, Allah, no, no, wait, wait. Allah, it's very simple, I'll be very, Allah, Allah gives you a powerful argument from the Quran. It says, I'm khulukum min ghayri shayin amhum al khaliqun. Were they created by nothing? Were they created by nothing? You know that something cannot come from nothing by nothing. That's impossible. Amhum al khaliqun. Or did they create themselves? Again, it's impossible, it's illogical, because you have to exist first. Yeah, <laughs> to be able to create yourself. But you know, I'm Khalaqul Samawat wa Ard. Or did they create the heavens and the earth? Again. I said I wasn't going to get it. Oh, no, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll end it. I'll end it. But what, what I'm trying to say to you. I just want to get back to the. Uh, no problem. What I'm trying. we agree yeah, about. Yeah. What I'm trying to say. What I'm yeah. trying to say to you is that look, many Muslims they use these arguments. It's not in accordance to our Islamic beliefs. Okay. These are all Greek philosophical arguments, oh, right, yeah. which you know our. Yeah. You know, our Muslim scholars have already, uh, yeah. you know, refuted, right? Very simple. The argument from creation is very simple. Well, Something. Yeah, I know a lot of Muslims. I'll tell you I what, know a lot of Muslims. Yeah, sure. So oh, what's you, your name? Andy. Andy. Nice speaking. Yeah, My name is Rahan. It's been a pleasure. I'll let you go, man. Thank you for taking your time. Take care. Uh, there were quite a few Muslim philosophers who actually used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are wrong. Uh, Ibn Sina, Imam yeah, Ghazali. Exactly. These are all like it, 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 it creates confusion, right? It's simple. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He gives a powerful argument. Were they created by nothing? You know that something cannot come from nothing by nothing. Okay? Something cannot come from nothing by nothing. It's impossible. Amhumul Khaliqun. Or did they create themselves? You know, but in order to create yourself, you first have to exist. Yeah, exactly. Right? Amhalakul Samawat wal Ard. Exactly. Exactly. You cannot have infinite creators, right? Amhalakul Samawat wal Ard. Did they create the hymns of the earth? Again, my existence. The, 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 the universe existed even before me. Yeah. The stars existed before me. You, you, you existed before me. You don't have to guess the age, right? <laughs> I'm kidding, right? And then, what's very powerful, it's, it's, not even a, it's not even a possibility. It's so absurd that Allah doesn't even answer the question. How does it conclude? Certainly, they have no firm belief, no certainty. Now, Allah could have easily said, yeah, Allah could have easily give the answer to the atheist. No, that if that's if you if something cannot come from nothing by nothing, yeah. if something didn't create by itself, if you didn't create the cosmos, then there has to be the why didn't Allah answer the question? Because He wants us to think. Yeah. And the only logical possible the only logical conclusion, it has to be the creator. Yeah. The creator must have a will, power, knowledge to bring this universe into existence. We see the signs of his existence, right? So this is the reason why when you hear these Muslims using causation argument, co contingency argument, you know, these are uh, these are not in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah. These are not according to our religion. So I, I want to come back to you. So you, you said you're a Catholic. Yes. So would you be able to expand what you believe? Because I don't want to make any straw man arguments or anything like that. No, 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 yeah? No, no, no. yeah. Go on. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, we believe in one God. Okay. Father Almighty, okay. creator of heaven and earth. Okay. Seen and unseen. Okay. Um, we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, right. who was incarnated mm. in the flesh mm. by the Virgin Mary. Uh, we believe in one Holy Catholic Church. We believe in baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We believe in confession. We believe in our communion. And we believe in the world to come. That's the same thing. Yeah, sure, sure. That's essentially the nice thing. Okay, cool. So, uh, am I correct to say that you subscribe to the Trinitarian uh, yes. view? Okay, cool. So, uh, would you so would it be right for me to say that you believe that the you believe in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, but these are not three gods, but one God, correct. one one being. Yeah, okay, yeah. fine, fine. Okay. Um, as you know, we Muslims, we believe in Jesus, peace be upon him. I know that. Um, we believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe he's the Messiah. But however, we believe that he was a servant of God. 
uh, he was not God. He was not part of the Trinity. Uh, we believe in strictly only one God, the, 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 the creator of the heavens and the earth, right? So, I don't want to debate with you. I really don't want to debate with you. I, I, just, want, I just want us to come to establish the common agreement. We all agree that the only one who's worth to be worshipped is God, right? Correct. Okay. Now, do you say that in that Trinitarian model, who do you worship? We worship God and we worship Christ as part of God. Okay. Do you believe that there's none worthy to be worshipped except God? Correct, yes. Okay. When I say there is nothing worthy to be worshipped except God, that means that you cannot give any portion of your worship to anything else besides God, right? Right. So, do you say that you worship the Father? Yes. Do you say you worship the Son? Yes. Do you say you worship the Holy Spirit? Yes. Okay. Now, do you not see there's a bit of problem with that? Because if you agree, I can see how right? It can be yeah. Seen, so, so what we say is that look, Allah says to the to the Muslims how we should convert to the Christians. He says in chapter three, verse sixty-four in the Quran, he says, "Qul ya ahli kitab, say, O people, of the book, come to common terms, come to common agreement between us and you." And the common agreement is we worship none but Allah, and that we do not associate any partners with Him, right? So. I mean, yeah, go on, Mark. So I was just going to say, yeah. yeah. In the Bible, it says uh, Christ was the Logos incarnate, the okay. Word made flesh. Okay. And so when Christ comes into the world, he doesn't come into the world separate from God. It's not like there's two gods. Right, I see. Like there's God and then there's Christ and they're two separate things. Okay, the, 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 see what. what okay, what you mentioned, it actually goes against the Trinitarian creed because. Uh, on top of saying that the God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, yeah. they say they're all distinct. They're all separate. So that means the God, God the Son is not God the Father. God the Father is not the Son. They're so, so they're distinct. So what you're doing is well, it, it, they're separate. They're distinct. Ah, see, they, see what you what you what you commit is called uh, modelism, which means you're saying that the Father can be the Son and the Son can be the Father. But actually, in the Trinitarian Creed, you do accept that the Son is is a separate entity from the Father. Which are the sons separate. Right, so, exactly. Now, if you believe that there is only one God that's worthy to be worshipped, yeah. but you also mentioned God the Father is God, you believe that God the Son is God, and you believe God the Holy Spirit is God. Now, who is worthy to be worshipped in that Trinitarian model? Well, when we say, when we think about Christ, we've heard of saying um, Emmanuel. Yeah? God Emmanuel. with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Emmanuel, God, God with us. Okay. Christ, in order to carry, in order for us to be saved, mm. we had to carry out the work of salvation. And in order for that salvific work to be done, mm. Christ has to be right. God has to come down to us. Right. So, one of the reasons we did that from the Muslims is we don't believe that salvation would be possible, however much we pray. Sure. Okay. So, no, no, no problem. No, 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 no. Thank you, thank you. No, no, no. That's right. No, no, no. Uh, right hand. Right hand. Yeah, Mark. Nice to meet you. Just want to leave you one thing here. Look. You know, we we when you say that you worship God, do you do you when you call for help? When, for example, you know, um, you're in you're in dire need, you're in dire help. Who do you ask? Who do you ask for help? God. Which God? There is only one God. There is only one God. No, but you also, you, but you also say the Father is God. You believe that the Son is God and the Holy Spirit is God. So when you're in, when you need help, for, let's say for example, you know, God forbid, you got cancer, for example, or I got yeah. cancer, right? From your human nature, from your natural instinct, who would you call for help? Actually, what you just said is quite right. The Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. Okay, <laughs> but if you, but if you say, but if you say uh, there is only one God, who deserves to be worshipped among the three gods? Do you, do, you, do you worship all of them or do you worship only one of them? They well, are one of them. This is the point you say. Okay, when you say one God, that's different. Okay, saying one God is different to say three and one. They're not, they're not the same. No. Okay, so there's a. I, I, I'll let you go very soon. I, I thank you for taking your time. You see, there is a, a, a small, small chapter called Surah Ikhlas in the Quran, which basically gives you the definition of Allah. Right. So it says, uh, ahad. Say he is Allah one and only. Meaning, Allah is God is not one in three. God is not one in two. He's one and only. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Okay. okay.
Allahu Samad. No, 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 just be very, very quickly. Okay, then, take care of yourself, Mark. Take care. Take care. Baba. I need to be calm. 